This brass oh, neck beard? Right Don't do anything I wouldn't do. <laughs> Owner Nigel Springthorpe is passing on the torch. His family ran the alibi room for 16 years. But recently, his brother-in-law, who's also the head chef, was diagnosed with a rare cancer. You know, it's definitely bittersweet. Um, I, didn't, uh, I didn't leave the alibi room by choice. Um, we had a family situation. Uh, Greg was diagnosed with cardoma just over a year ago and so he was on a ventilator for almost three and a half months and had a huge huge change. Springthorpe was left running the restaurant with just his wife and things got really stressful so they decided to sell. We're, we're passing it on to someone who cares uh, to leave the place in good hands to walk away from from something with our with our heads held high um, and that was important to us. The Alibi Room was one of the first places in Vancouver to start craft beer tastings. Springthorpe says he used to drive around in BC, bringing back kegs for customers to try. Now they have 50 beers on tap. Back in 2008, it was a pretty important thing for a brewer to have one of their beers put on tap at the Alibi Room. It was like a sign that you'd reached, you know, you'd reached a certain achievement. Um, to get Nigel's approval. Come January, the restaurant will be run by a Victoria-based company called Fuller Top. The new operators say they'll add some new menu items, but we'll keep the same crew. We just want to kind of keep running with it as it is and uh, just shore things up a little bit and make it a, a great place to come and, and hang out. Springthorpe says he'll miss the restaurant and the building with its charm, character and quirks like this wall next to table 11. One of them will come in one day and leave, leave a note back there and then someone else, can I get table 11? And then they, they'll come and sit and then they'll pull it out and see what, see what uh, the note they've got written for them. But with so many great staff members and regulars over the years, he says it's them he'll miss the most. Peggy Lamb, CBC News, Vancouver.